Hi guys, welcome to a new Florida vlog. We're going to show you around the hotel that we're staying in now. It is the Red Lion Hotel. At um, uh, Lake Buena Vista. At uh, Lake Buena Vista South. So last year we stayed in the Red Lion um, up that way. Main gate. Or somewhere, main gate. Main gate, This is way. the uh, the South one. So, we're going to pass it over to Nick and he's going to show you around the hotel. Right, so first of all, just to give you a bit of an idea of location. So we are almost directly south of Lake Buena Vista Outlet. The hotel is different hotel it's got a built-in restaurant as you can see yeah. it's a Mexican restaurant we booked it on hotels.com we paid $78 per night and that was including all the resort fees and taxes and we got free breakfast included and they upgraded our room for us as well which you'll see later on in this video so yeah. what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a walk-in and show you around so we'll just take you over to the restaurant outdoor area um, now on hotels.com it does actually say that it's got two restaurants but it doesn't it's only no. got one yeah we can't find um, a second one. we will show you do a, an, out, an outdoor walk around then inside and then we'll show you the room and just before we start that i'll just show you what's around the hotel if you don't have breakfast there uh, there is a perkins just there um and there's a walgreens there if you need anything from walgreens there's a 7-eleven gas station over there uh, there's a steakhouse over there. There's tons and tons and yeah. tons of things. So if you don't want to eat in this uh, restaurant, which we have and it was quite nice, um, then you can eat in the local area. Right, nice touch. Bikes, you can hire yep. from the hotel. Yep. So you, bikes. so you can hire these. We haven't. I'm not sure quite where you'd, you'd bike. I think you'd have to stop them. Around the hotel. Um, yeah, there's no brakes. I always find that a bit odd. I think you pedal backwards. I think somebody told us on our last red line review that you just pedal backwards. Yeah. Right, so come this way. Right, so this restaurant has an indoor and an outdoor. We've not used the outdoor because the weather's been pretty cold this week. But I can imagine it's going to be pretty nice and, and it's warm today. But I can imagine in the summer it's really nice to sit out here, have a margarita or a sangria. With those patio, patio heaters, heaters on. on. And uh, a little fountain at the side. All the lights up there. But um, the restaurant is basically where we're going to go for breakfast shortly. And then um, we'll take you around the back and show you the lazy river and the pool area. Right, so I'll just show you in the reception <coughs> where you check in. So it's a nice big reception. Uh, you've got all your like um, park ticket desk there, uh, the main reception there, and then nice sofa uh, area there for if your room's not ready when you come. Um, this is the coffee area uh, where you get free coffees. So from 7 till 11 a.m. in the morning, you can get free coffees. You can also it's, get cappuccinos, lattes, um, and specialist yeah, coffees. Yeah, it's well. actually past the time, so they're, they're, they're shutting it down now. Uh, oh, it's from 6 a.m. actually to 11 a.m. 6 till 11. So you've got cappuccinos, lattes, and espressos there. And then you've just got normal coffee, coffee there. Uh, so I'll take you in now uh, where we're going to have breakfast. Right, so this is where we come for breakfast. Uh, you, you, and, evening meals, and evening meals if you want. Yeah, you, have, you may have seen in our vlogs, um, we've been here for an evening meal as well. So I'm just going to show you what you can get for breakfast if you've got breakfast at the hotel. So you've got your warm things here. So you've got scrambled eggs, uh, potatoes, biscuits, gravy, um, oatmeal, little sausages and bacon. And then you've got fresh fruits and yogurt here. And some like jams and butters for the toast here. So the toaster and then the cereals and milk and toppings and then over here you've got some pastries uh, some muffins and then Nick's favorite the pancake plopper which makes a, a, a nice fresh pancake with um, some hot syrup to put on it as well so there's a full bar around there if you do come down here on an evening uh, so it's a nice little place for breakfast and Nick's had his fill this morning. So you've got all your leaflets there, which is good for if you want to, I'm gonna take that actually. I want to have a look at that, that NBA experience down at Disney Springs. Um, so. All the local things. There's also Voucher stuff. books. Yeah. Super essential. Yeah. Tons and tons of vouchers in there to get your discounts off most of these attractions. Yeah. And then just down here is the shop, if you need to buy anything. So you've got your Disney hats, Disney clothes and your essentials in there. They do do food as well, it's not just gifts. Yeah, you've got an ATM there. Um, we've not actually been down that side of the hotel because our room isn't down there. However, there's the, uh, there's you've the got a, a water bottle filler there. And then this is back to our uh, hotel room. So in this direction we've got the fitness center, so it's got a gym, it's got laundry, and then we're gonna go outside to the pool area as well. Yeah. So I'll just show you the gym quickly. Um, Nick might use that tonight. It might, maybe not. You said you wanted scales there. Oh no. I don't set up on them. I've just had my breakfast. Yeah. 
Right, so these corridors are pretty wide and they've got definite accessibility um, for, for people that are into off, um, EBC and things like that. The doors are wide, the rooms are pretty wide as well, so there's no issues with people with disabilities that are sort of like wheelchair bound and things like that. Just around the corner there's a uh, drinks dispenser, which you've got to pay for obviously, and an ice machine, which is free. Which is free. So, we're going to go out there in a second, I'm just going to show you here. This is the guest laundry room. So, fully stocked with um, washing machines and things. So, there is a charge for drying yeah. washing on each machine. Right, let's go out to the pool area. Right, so there's there's a few different pools here, I think. So you've got a sort of a hot tubby spa place there, and a little electric um, chair if you need that to get in. You can't access, so kids just can't wander in. Yep. So it's actually a whirlpool that. It's not a spa. It's a whirl. Well, it says whirlpool on that gate. So we've got some nice lounges there to chill out on. Is it? It's so hot. Is it? Ooh. Hot, hot like really hot. I could sit in there. Oh my god, that is like a bath. Oh, maybe we'll try that. <laughs> right, so let's have a look, let's feel the temperature of the pool. So you've got pool bar there. Yep, pool bar and restrooms, which are open at the moment. That's Ed, but not swimmable. It's nice there. out here. Pool towels for the side of the pool. Towels, yep. Um, lots of um, a lot lounges. of nice lounging that you get in the Disney park with the strap thing. Yeah. Put, put your elbow through. Outdoor showers, just there. there. Yep, showers there. Restrooms. And then over here you've got the lazy river. And some slides. So you can see there's a slide there. You've got some little rubber rings and things there. And it's got its own little lazy river. So what we'll do is we'll go in there and we'll walk over the bridge and we'll test the one for the pool as well. Go on then. That's good, that. Right, we can't, we can't actually get round to the lazy river because it doesn't open yet until a little bit later. So we can't test that water for you, but that is uh, something you can use at well, a certain are, time. We are thinking of coming back and trying out the spa later on. So if we do that, we might try the lazy river as well. Okay, so at the back of the car park, next to the lazy river, we've actually got more facilities available. Again, we've not discovered these or used these, but you've got your kids' play area there, which is um, soft mulch grounding, so people don't hurt themselves on the fall off. You've got a tennis court and a basketball court in this area, which again is free for everybody at the, staying at the hotel to use. And then all the open water is all fenced off all the way around the hotel. There's a lake at the back there, that's all fenced off. Um, and if you're gonna stay, I would say request a tower room. The only downside that we don't like about our room, which we'll show you shortly, is all the windows are quite small. If you notice them on all the buildings, they're all the same shape windows. Yeah, it makes the room a little bit dismal. But, yeah. Uh, speaking of the room, we'll go and show you now. Right, so we're just re-entering the building. Another point to note before we take you up to the room is if you come into the other the building areas around the complex, you can't actually just walk in the doors. You need to use your key card for the room to actually gain access. So there's a little panel on the right-hand side here. And a lot of the areas, like the pool areas and things like that, have all got similar access. So it's all tied to your room key. Uh, we are on the third floor. You can go up here, you can get uh, fresh baked pizzas to your room. Yep, we've not ordered that yet, have we? No. And then that's the breakfast menu right. for the um, the Totilla uh, re Rica. There's also an evening menu as well. And that's just telling you about the free coffee, coffee, coffee again. Now, our room is literally just here as you walk in. Oh, I think the maid might be in, but never mind. Right, so we think the maid's been. Yes, she has. So, this is a huge room. So we'll give you a bit of a, a walk around and then we'll show you it bit by bit. So the maid's been here every day since we've been here, which yeah. is good. We never got that when we stayed at Saratoga Springs, as we said in our previous review video. So we have uh, a vanity area in the main area. So we basically got his and his sinks or his and her sinks. Mix is the one on the outside. Yeah, I've been banished. Um, but it's good enough. You've got literally like you can do your teeth and your hair and things like that. The bathroom is pretty large. It's got a nice um, bright mirror um, around it you get, um, the only thing that I've said is you don't get like a toilet brush and, and sort of things for, to put down the toilet. You get all your towels supplied. So Nick's been blocking the toilet. Yeah, I've been blocking the toilet. Not my fault. Um, and then you've got an over the shower, over the bath shower, which is pretty powerful, with a nice curtain. And like Lee said, they come and do that and change that every day. 
you've got a wardrobe which is not huge for the amount of clothes that we've bought but in there you've got a luggage stand ironing board and iron uh, coat hangers spare blankets and pillows if you want to make up the sofa bed which the, uh, the sofa at the other end of the room is made up to now you'll notice on the floor we've got actually pump hat tackets because we're only here for a few days we just left them like that. And yeah, we've, we would have unpacked because we've had three different stays in this five week period, we've actually been living out of our suitcases rather than unpacking. So the bed head is basically built into the wall. You've got um, charging points and USB charging points there, a telephone, um, aircon, aircon thermostat on the wall, a huge king size bed. Um, as I said, that's a sofa, little table at the side. You can actually convert that into a sofa bed and the blankets are in the cupboard. You've got a desk area which Lee's been using for editing. This is my favourite part, I need a desk to edit in. Um, lamps and plugs, plenty of sockets everywhere. And then we've got uh, a huge, I would say, 49 inch plasma, which we actually bought a HDMI cable and linked it to the laptop so we could match movies. You've got a safe, microwave and fridge, plenty of storage area on the two shelves there. And then like a little footstool if you want to sort of sit in it to put your shoes on. And the room, the room is actually huge. I've never been in a room as, as huge yeah. as this. So there are actually different configurations of rooms. So when you're booking, uh, you'll just have to see what, what we went for the king size and the sofa. I think there's like rooms with two king size beds in. And no sofa. Yeah, yeah, things like that. So you can just have a look on the website when you book. Mm. Yeah. So as we said outside, the window is very small. And if you don't have any lights on internally, it doesn't let in much light. But if you look, we actually have a pool view. So when we were downstairs, um, we were stood at that little gate area there saying that the lit laser river was locked that's what we're overlooking i think the, the, talking about the light it's just missing a nice big um corner lamp there to make it brighter over here well get yourself to ikea and go get one then it's just a little bit dismal over here yeah it's but, it's sterile and clinical yeah. it's there's nothing wrong with it and it's perfectly clean yeah. it's just dark yeah there's not much natural light now would we stay here again mm, only so the reason I would say not let me get in let me get in is just because of the location because we've got so used to being closer to Disney I mean we're how far from Disney are about you? 15 minutes Which we've is, been spoiled nothing. we've been spoiled by being five minutes away from Disney yeah up at the other red line which is now the main gate resort and there's lots of villas and townhouses around that yeah. red line and the, the old red line which is now called main gate resort and spa is actually the closest hotel to Disney that's mm. not on Disney property so we now like to be up there but yeah. there's nothing wrong with here um, it's just it, 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 the road outside does get a little bit congested yeah so it's taken us a while to get back from places uh, but what did we pay for this we're not $78 a night. Yeah. So we, we booked it because of the cost. We were doing this holiday on a budget, apparently. So $78 so we, a night, it, it included breakfast and made cleaning every day. Yeah. And we went for the cheapest thing. We booked it on hotels.com. So for every seven nights or eight, ten nights you stay, you actually get a free hotel stay. Yeah. Um, so that's the reason why we um, we chose this. The Wi-Fi has been brilliant. I've been able well. To, no, well, it has been for the laptops. It, it, Our tablets wouldn't connect to the Wi-Fi. Yes, but for uh, I'll continue speaking now. Go on then. The Wi-Fi has been brilliant for me uploading vlogs. It takes another, an hour or so for uploading, uh, so that's been great. It depends where you are in the room. If you're back over yeah. at this end, the, the Wi-Fi drops off a bit. But my tablet, I've not been able to use. My mobile works fine, but my tablet and your tablet don't work on the Wi-Fi. And you have to keep re-authenticating every 24 hours, which is a bit of a pain in the backside if you're watching something. But at least it's got Wi-Fi. Yes, it's got Wi-Fi and it's been adequate and it's been fine for the vlogs. That was our worry that we wouldn't have the speed to upload the vlogs. Yes. So we so, did have backup plans for that, but we've not had to use them this holiday yeah. yet, have we? If you've just found us from this review um, vlog because you were thinking about staying in this hotel, I would say don't worry. It's very nice, clean, big room, uh, nice pool area. Um, nice breakfast, um, and there's nothing wrong with it, really. If I had to rate this hotel against the other Red Lion, or it's, what used to be the Red Lion, I would choose this. Yeah, this is the nice. downside for this is the location and the small out. and the small window. That's the only negatives. Which but is everything much. else has been fantastic. The yeah. facilities, the coffee, the restaurant, the, the foyer. The it's just it just ticks all the boxes. Mm. It's just the location and the, the amount of natural light it's, that we didn't yeah. we weren't keen on. But that. That's not a main issue because no. once you're out in the morning and you're not you're not coming on holiday to sit in a hotel room, no. it's just a base. And I imagine this location for some people is absolutely perfect. Yeah. Because a lot of villas are quite far out. It's close to all the malls yeah. here as well. So if you have just found us from this video, please do click on that subscribe button to check out all our other videos. We vlog from Florida, we go on a Disney cruise, we go for, to LA, and uh, vlog, we also we vlog at the lodge. live in a lodge in the UK. That is our main life. And we do um, daily vlogs even when we're not in Florida yeah. as well. 
So, thanks for watching this uh, uh, hotel tour. Hope you got some tips from it. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment below and we'll answer them if we can. If you have stayed here, then share your experiences in the comments below. We're always interested to hear in other people's experiences. Yeah. And our other viewers may, may be interested to hear your experiences as well. And we'll see you tomorrow for a new vlog. See you soon. Bye.